All right, today we're hunting some rivers. We got the Equinox 800, and this is a known spot here on the river for kayaking, canoeing, and tubing. And I uh, figured I'd hit it. Got a couple surface finds today. Uh, a couple cool little old, possibly some old stuff, a bottle. But uh, stay tuned, you guys don't wanna miss this one. Surface find. Breeze, huh? Great. Got a couple weights here. <clears throat> this has been here for a while. Got, uh, there's stuff here. Oh, I can see it. What is this? It's an old cheap uh, D link with a string. Maybe there's something attached to it. Look, well, guys, found another one. Another D link. A little up there. I don't think uh, whatever these things were supposed to be working for are working. <laughs> Maybe we can find what they were attached to. <laughs> Gotta be right behind this rock. We got a nice little signal. It's not very deep. That's why I'm looking at it. Whatever it is, I got it in your hand. Thought it was this little shell, but guess not. Huh. Maybe it was in that shell. Man, probably should find that again. Oh. Ooh. Like a pocket watch or uh, some form of gear that's pretty neat I was just laying in there so I can probably tell you no one's detecting this area sweet <laughs> the signals like an iPhone or phone signal but I don't see it See how it's going everywhere there? A lot of times that's because it's electronic. So let's see if we can. I don't see anything. Moved. Should have let this stuff out. Ah, oh, boo, a piece of metal. Ah, oh, that doesn't sound like that signal. Typically, these signals don't bounce around like that. A oh, melted piece of aluminum. Not quite sure what this is, but uh, it rang up. It's been here for a while. Some decorative piece for something. It's pretty cool. Oh, I can see it. Oh, it's a circle. It's a coin or something. Some form of, oh, let's oh no way <laughs> what is this it's a piece of wood houston and son philadelphia pa oh man it's on a piece of wood and everything i wonder if this is part of a boat
Houston and Son. I'm gonna have to go check that out. Wow, that's old. You know what? It has a, a flathead side, so I would think, I wonder if this is part of like an old water wheel or something. I don't know. Oh, that's super cool though. Copper, like a copper rivet and some wood. Oh, nice. Well, I'm gonna continue here. Wow, that's crazy awesome. Pretty cool, just found this laying in there. It's an old glass bottle. This is pretty old. Oh, surface fine, nice. Pretty cool hunk of iron. Not quite sure what it is. Definitely, definitely iron though. Share this with you guys. U.S. Stonewall. This is an old brick, but this was laying here in the river. Or stoneware, actually. U.S. Stoneware. Seems like an older brick. Not quite sure where it came from, but uh, we'll look into it and see what we got. I'm gonna put this back down in the river. And uh, I know it's here if I need to come back for it. You know, I always get excited when I find something that has a rivet in it. I'm not quite sure what this is, but still nonetheless, it's a pretty cool find. Here's a pretty cool thing to see laying on the surface. Railroad tie, nothing to it, but it's pretty neat. Also got some Oh, the shiny, probably a can. Or melted aluminum. The stuff is laying everywhere. All right. Man, I'm finding more stuff just laying on the ground than I am detecting. Something. I don't know if that's a, a rock, but here's something circle. Oh. Has slots in it. Maybe a... Huh. It's been here for a while. Looks like a rotor. Wheel of sorts, but it's kind of oblonged. There's something right next to it I wanted to check out. Alright. It's almost like it's layered. I'm not quite sure what this is. If you know, post it down in the comments. Alright, here's a bottle. Oh, that's an older bottle, maybe. W, w maybe here we go it's uh baltimore bottling works registered akron ohio almost looks like ww or vvv if you know what that is go ahead and post it in the comments watch it be like ketchup or something. All right, got another railroad spike. Not uncommon. Just fine. It's probably a bracelet though. Rally in the Valley 2019. All right. Put that on here. Here we go. Check this out. Can you see him? <sighs> All right, some aviators. That's what I'm talking about. How do I look with my new, new aviators? All right, guys. So this is what I found in the river today. 
we're gonna go through them and see what we got. So we have a bracelet, a Rally in the Valley. Oh, it's inside out. Rally in the Valley, 2019. That was a surface find. We have a couple sinkers, leads here. One, two, three, four. This one's pretty cool. It's like doubled up. This one is definitely a sinker. I think it says one and a half on it. But uh, that was wedged down in some rocks along with, uh, I believe, this one too as well. So we got a few sinkers for the change today got three dimes five pennies a grape soda breeze pro vape those are pretty common in the rivers now two d-links pretty cheap got a couple pieces of melted aluminum which is pretty common too in rivers actually got quite a bit Some trash, more trash. I think that's the top of a Snapple bottle. Cleaning up the rivers. Imagine walking on that. Uh, piece of aluminum, not quite sure what that is. Uh, cap to a fishing pole. Some iron here, I'm not quite sure what this is. It's a cap to some sort, looks like, but uh, it's hard to make out. A couple other pieces of iron. Two railroad spikes. This was a pretty cool find. This is an old bottle. I think it says J. Or maybe up and down. Maybe it's an S. Not quite sure. But uh, white glass. For the other bottle here, we did find a bottle in here that says Baltimore Bottling Works with some symbol registered in Akron, Ohio and has the symbol on the bottom with a cork top. Now, did find this. Not quite sure what this is. Probably top of a, a lantern or a light. Maybe someone had a, a dock or something out here on the river. But this was uh, pretty old, but it's pretty cool. Some cool designs, no writing. And for some of the pretty cool copper stuff, I'm not quite sure what this is. Anytime I find something that has a rivet hole in it, this actually has two rivet holes. I'm imagining there was something over here. You can only imagine what it came off of. Maybe a car, maybe a train of some sort. There's another, I think this is either copper or brass. I think this is copper. This was uh, ringing up. I thought this was a ring. The way it was in the ground with things with holes in it or something like this gear make the equinox 800 kind of chatty and whenever i hear that i think a ring but uh unfortunately it wasn't a ring today not quite sure what that's all this one's pretty cool this is a uh, i'm not quite sure maybe off a toy or a clock it has big gears in it so not 100 percent but this was uh hanging out down there in the river now this one is pretty neat find and this is the one I want to look up this is copper rivet or a copper pen that has writing on it. it says Houston and Sons and then on the bottom it says Philadelphia and it's attached to a piece of old wood and on the back it has a flathead now that kind of led me to think that this is pretty old so I'm gonna go ahead and look it up real fast and see uh, what we have here. Oh, I, I completely forgot about these. These were on my head. A pair of radiator sunglasses. All right. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. This was an awesome river hunt today. We only had a couple hours to get out and try to find this. This is the first time here, but I'm definitely coming back. This area is awesome. It has awesome history, and as you can see, for maybe 45 minutes to an hour. We have an old Baltimore Bottling Works company uh, bottle and this awesome find of the day, which is some form of unknown button. 
<laughs> so be sure to hit that subscribe button hit that like button it really helps out the channel and stay tuned stay tuned for some more videos thanks for watching guys